everyone, today with Google Print, we are going to show you guys how to create awesome print ready flyers using Microsoft Word. In the video, we will walk you through the intro setup of your file format and read margins, the creation of your flyers front side, the creation of your flyers back side, and how to save your file as print ready PDF and convert it to CMYK for commercial printing. First thing to do is obviously open your Microsoft Word and set the dimension of your flyer. Go to layout, size, and more paper sizes. For this example, we are going to set our flyer's dimension to 21.6 times 15.4 cm, which corresponds to the extremely common and standard A5 format with 0.3 cm of breed added on each side. To make sure that the information pictures contained that your flyers don't get cut off during the cutting process, we need to set a safety margin of at least 0.3 cm on each side. To create the margins, we simply create a rectangle with the dimensions 19.4 times 14.2 cm corresponding to the standard A5 format with 0.3 cm removed from each side. So now we are going to set the paper to portrait. We are going to do the front side first by inserting the main picture on the sheet. To make your picture easier to move without changing the position, we are going to click right on the picture and then click wrap text and behind the text. In our flyer, we will add a title, a slogan, our telephone number, opening hours, address and more. To insert the text, create a text box and use the simple text to create the slogan. To insert the text, now we are going to add the icons. It's always best to use vectors, which you can easily download from the website such as freepick.com. If you don't know what vector elements are, click the link in the description box below to learn more about their advantages and drawbacks compared to raster images. When you are done with the floor, we can start working on the back of our flyers. Let's add a couple of our best-selling ditches and the prices. The slightly difficult and annoying part when working on with Microsoft Word is that the pictures often jump off the line, which means that you will have to reposition them. So we need to make sure that everything looks completely perfect before saving the final version of the file. When you are done with the floor, we can start working on the back of our flyers. Let's add a couple of our best-selling ditches and the prices. The slightly difficult and annoying part when working on with Microsoft Word is that the pictures often jump off the line, which means that you will have to reposition them. So we need to make sure that everything looks completely perfect before saving the final version of the file. For the box, you can use the rectangle to create and keep it in the back of the text. Just choose rectangle, shape fill and more fill colors and raise the transparency. I would choose the shape outline and no outline as well. To write on top of the rectangle, I am using the text box because they give you more freedom to do exactly what you want. The slightly difficult and annoying part when working on with Microsoft Word is that the pictures often jump off the line, which means that you will have to reposition them. So we need to make sure that everything looks completely perfect before saving the final version of the file. Now once you are completely satisfied with the design of your flyer, we are going to save our print ready file as a PDF. Don't forget to look back at your flyers again to make sure that everything looks completely what you want. Okay, let's go find save ads and write your name, choose PDF file and save it. After saving your file as a PDF, there is one final change that you need to make before sending your artwork to Google Print or another commercial printer. You need to convert the color mode of the PDF file to CMYK. You can do this directly in Adobe Acrobat. If you have any questions, feel free to write it down in the comment section and please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you like it and haven't already. Love!